David, what a, what better day, a way to spend an afternoon than in a, a deer blind? After we just saw a buck coming in here. I told you on the way out to load your rifle. You were not prepared. <laughs> the deer was running. Okay, so he got away. You, you've been down here in Alabama for what, eight days now? <clears throat> We've been hunting, shooting every day, except for the day that it rained. Um, you've seen quite a few deer, huh? 120 some. 120 something deer. And you're yet to fire a shot. I'm selective. Well, I take that back. You have fired a shot. That's right. I killed two pigs. Two pigs. <clears throat> and two, we caught two coons in a trap also. We caught two coons in a trap, so I am 100%. <laughs> well, I haven't been real active in your shooting, I mean in your hunting, but um, you and I have spent a good bit of time shooting. Uh, you normally shoot 1,000 yards at the Pennsylvania 1,000 Yard Club. Um, what do you think about race bottom? I know it's not a thousand yards, but um, it's very nice. Unpredictable winds. Unpredictable winds. What are what are you referring to there? <clears throat> the winds I were for five hundred yards mm -hmm. were a lot. I mean, there's a. I thought down here there'd be a lot less winds. We'd be shooting in good conditions, what I consider readable conditions that are constant, but it changes, switches, stops, lets up, picks up, lets off, often. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, um, I know Brett had chambered me a barrel I'd bought in action some time ago, I think on an accurate shooter or something. I think came from a guy in California. Um, you kind of put the thing to death. It's got an unusual stock on it, um, but <clears throat> we're trying to, to make that rifle track, is that correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. and what, what are the advantages of a rifle that tracks properly? Time. Conditions are the hardest things to control, but you can't control them. So if you can shoot faster, you'll be able to <clears throat> shoot better scores and groups. Mm -hmm. uh, always full with the knobs, getting back to the center, takes up time, valuable time. And, uh, this well, I know I, I started off, I, I think you would uh, turn me kind of green uh, as far as uh, what you, um, you know, what we ended up, you know, accomplishing in that type thing. But, um, when you say fast, I think I have understood you to mean what is fast, but, but what is comfortable for that person. Right. Everybody's speed is different, but you shouldn't be shooting one every 20 seconds. Mm -hmm. That's slow. Mm -hmm. uh, you should be shooting one mm -hmm. six, seven, eight seconds uh, is, is about normal. Faster shooters shoot them every three or four seconds, mm -hmm. but you should have the ability to shoot fast know how to shoot fast, and if you need to, you can. If, if the conditions call for it, you need to be yes. capable you have of, to be of, able of to getting do them it. down there. It's It'll just be. another tool in your box. If you don't know how to shoot fast, you never will. Mm -hmm. Well, something else that we ran up on um, <clears throat> with the new rifle that you brought, uh, it's a dasher just like my other rifle, <clears throat> and uh, we kind of shooting, shot and cleaned, I guess, this morning uh, to get the barrel broken in. But, um, and by the way, you, you notice that the first two shots went in the identical same hole. So yeah. that's a, a promising prospect of a rifle anyway. But what we noticed, <clears throat> I had loaded up some, some cartridges previously with the load that shot in the, in the other rifle. And, uh, we noticed that right off the bat there were some pressure signs. So obviously two guns, you know, with the same caliber aren't identical. No. The barrels make all the difference. So 
Knowing somebody's load doesn't mean it's going to shoot in your gun. Mm -hmm. And every barrel has its own identity. And you, you, you have to find out what it likes. And that takes time. Mm -hmm. It took us all week to find yours. That's correct. That's correct. It, it, it's a lot of work. We fired different primers. We tried different seating depth, different loads. Uh, but once we found it, and then the uh, the groups came right in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So two two rifles, you know, they they like people. They they have their own identity, exactly. their own personality, and it's the shooter's responsibility to, to find it to identify that. And it's it's <laughs> not like. You're just going to walk out there and shoot it and find it. Mm -hmm. It takes work and patience, and it's uh, it's not a hard thing, but it just takes patience and time mm -hmm. to locate it. Mm -hmm. well, um, I, I think you you notice here we're sitting in a deer blind. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about you. You, you were here yesterday afternoon. Yeah. Uh, I saw 57 deer, three bucks. Great buck in an hour and a half. Wow, right here. fifty-seven. Well, yeah. I say um, it's time we turn this camera off and go to hunting. How about that? I think you uh, are a good idea, but uh, shoot safe and shoot straight. All well, those are watching. I want to thank you for coming from Pennsylvania. <laughs> hey, it was a pleasure <laughs> and good times. If you get a chance, come to Reese Bottom. <laughs>